Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, I just created a new node wrapping tool in the node grid of Bitwig Studio. So it's a more like an efficient way of uh, creating uh, chord inversions of nodes on the fly, um, where you just say, I only want to have nodes in a certain octave and everything above and below gets pitched down to the current octave. Um, it's a bit hard to describe and I'll show you in a minute how this looks like in the grid or in the piano roll. So let's imagine you have here this chord progression, which is a C major chord progression. It sounds like this. And all of these chords are correct and diatonic and uh, sometimes you want to have some of these notes closer together so you create inversions which means you take one note here for instance and pull this one octave down or you take this chord and pull this one one octave higher so some of these notes are being closer together so it, it sounds more harmonic or more like in the same uh, octave playing so when I record this here to a second track with my new note wrap tool here, then you can see that all of these notes here are now more closer together and they don't go above the second octave here. Right? It's not like this, it's not like this. Everything happens in the same same range. And the node wrapping tool uh, or the preset I created is basically that everything that goes above F3 gets pitched down. So this was initially up here and the tool pitched this way back down. And it's the same for going down or below F2, I think here, then all the notes here would get pitched up here. So this is perfect for when you create generative chord progressions or when you use the multi-note tool in Bitwig Studio and you want to have some kind of inversions adding to that without caring too much what, what happens on a, note, uh, on a note level. And when I remove this here and maybe show you some MIDI keyboard um, like this and we go in here let me take this note here out. And you can see that the above you can see basically on the, on the bottom MIDI keyboard here that we only play or output notes in the same octave. And this one here take, uh, shows the input notes that we go straight up and down the keyboard, but transformation uh, when the transformation is applied we only play in the same octave so it's just a note wrap and this is how it looks like here in the grid i could explain what i did here but it's just pure math and i'm using here the wrap tool which wraps basically every signal into a phase range but I use this tool to basically wrap notes so I applied here some math and some divisions and um, yeah it's a, it's hard to explain what I basically did um, and I also implemented here a wrap axis tool which allows you to change the axis of mirroring so for instance here in the default state I'm wrapping around C, uh, C3 so everything that is, that is above F3 gets pulled down. And everything, everything that's below F sharp 2 gets pulled up. So everything in between is basically our, um, yeah, our main range. But sometimes you don't want to wrap around C3, which is the, yeah, it's, it's the mirroring axis, basically. So it's the, the middle line, the center line. But sometimes you want to mirror around, I don't know, D3. 
to have a range something like this. And um, then you could do this by using the wrap axis and pulling this up or down to change the axis of rotation. And um, this one, uh, this preset is for free. You can download this. You need, of course, uh, Bitwig Studio 4.2. Um, to have the node grid and to be able to use this um, preset, of course. And um, there's also an older version of this by, by XISO, which is called Octave Wrapper. And I also link you to this in the description below. And this works uh, in all previous versions, but it uses like an yeah, a method of using your uh, node transpose tools and key range. So what he did is basically he did here for the range of C5 to B5, then pitch down everything one octave from C6 to B6, uh, you know. So he added basically this here manually with node transpose tools and node filters. And um, this is a bit more slim here or, or uses the, the power of the node grid. So it's a more modern way. Um, but if you don't own the new 4.2 version, then you can use this, of course. Um, yeah, and it's perfectly nice to use this here with the, let's say, multi node. Where you have a lot of nodes in there, maybe uh, minor 11. And then you play on the keyboard. And you can go in any point on your keyboard um, all these notes are basically in the same octave which gives you a nice yeah nice feel for chord progressions um, always the filter always So it's always the same chord, it's just, you know, inversions applied to it. You can download the preset, as I said, in the description below. Leave me a comment if you have some feedback, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.